All right, apparently there's a lot of new people following me, so we'll make something perfectly clear. I do travel abroad, and there's a reason. I live at poverty level in a normal year. I had no intention to lose everything to a natural disaster, and having done so, that natural disaster took my over three quarts of split and seasoned wood. And by the way, it takes a couple of years to season wood. You can't burn the stuff laying down there. Not only is it green, it's wet. And so, heads up, it's a hell of a lot cheaper to eat in Latin America. It's a hell of a lot cheaper to rent someplace. I got no power. I got no water. I got no way to crap other than dig a hole. That, that's not going to be great for the environment. I'm going somewhere where I can live for somewhere, say, $250 a month or less to have an apartment where I can uh, wash and cook. Uh, you see where I'm living now in an apartment, in a hotel temporarily, there's nowhere for me to cook. It costs a lot more to eat. In Latin America, I can go to a Mercado. That's a market for you gringos that might not know what that means in Spanish. I can eat really cheap. I can eat in Ecuador, for instance. I can eat for about $20 a week. I could probably do it even a little cheaper, possibly. And that's eating lots of fresh veggies. I don't eat much meat. Meat's expensive. It's also not good for you. Mostly it's expensive. I'm very frugal. I'm overly frugal, maybe. But hey, I live a good life. You know, uh, you guys that travel live fancy, go to wild places like Stonehenge, probably don't get it. I understand that. You go to France. No, I don't go to Europe. I can't afford it. It's really expensive. I go to Latin America. I go where it's very cheap to live. Cheaper than living in the United States. And heat is very expensive in the United States. $250, that's water, that's electricity, that's everything I need to exist. And I can do it for less. I've done as cheap as $100 a month in Peru. I've done as cheap as $170 a month in Guatemala. So, yeah, I work really hard as a guide in Tennessee. And I save up all my beans, all my money, and I go down south. I generally try to budget $1,000 a month. Maybe I don't. I don't spend that much. I try to budget that, and I try to live very cheap and frugal in this country, too. Eating like a uh, good Latino would. Yeah, lots of veggies and beans and stuff like that. So, so these crazy people who think I'm living high on the hog, I'm not. I'm living a very frugal existence. My apologies to those of you that already knew the obvious. And please help educate those who make all these snide remarks. I guess they want to kick me while I'm down. And try to get people not to give me donations so I have no choice but to leave this country permanently because I can't afford to be homeless here and I certainly can't afford to eat crap food. It would kill me.